According to a mod that was verified on, uh, or a mod verified Resetera user who's, who goes by the name of uh, Sponger, who has leaked accurate information in the past, it's apparently, and specifically I should say, uh, leaked accurate information about first party Xbox related stuff in the past. It's apparently being considered to drop the Xbox One version of Halo Infinite following the delay. Which is actually, that's, that's pretty fucking, it's pretty fucking big news. Uh, furthermore, in relation to this, we also learned this week, and I'll, I'll let you talk about your thoughts about that here in a second, I'll just go over all this. So 343 three, four, three Industry is being gifted some help. As, the, as a Halo veteran, Joseph Staten is going to be joining up with them to aid in the completion of the game. Staten was the, formed, uh, or the former Bungie Director of Cinematics and will become Infinite's project lead for the campaign. So, 343 Industry is so lost in the weeds right now that they're bringing back an old Bungie alumni that was uh, part of Halo's original story arc and what would have made Halo Halo. To save this sinking ship. Which at this point is less of a sinking ship and more of a submarine. Shit's underwater. Yeah. It's sunk. Yeah. It's uh, sunk. So at this point, we're diving for what buried treasure is left in that ship. Yeah. Saving that and leaving the ship behind. <laughs> we're looking for the heart of the ocean and we're getting the fuck out of there. <laughs> that's, right? that's it. Yeah, Jack is dead. <laughs> all right? He ain't coming back. No. So all we can do now is just go grab the heart of the ocean. Find it somewhere. All right, just find the heart of the ocean and just put it on display somewhere so people can go and watch and just be done with it. That's all it's That's left. where we're at. Uh, interestingly enough, the, the blog post that was talking about um, uh, Joseph joining the team also mentioned that they said that the game will not be pushed back to 2022, which is what you and I, I think, discussed briefly uh, the other day. Like getting I thought I said 2021. Well, like holiday, like end of the year, not like... I think I said I wouldn't be surprised if it was pushed until holiday of 2021. So basically, the end of yeah. the fucking year. Uh, uh -huh. I didn't expect to see it in, for example, spring. Yeah. Uh, but maybe they somehow pull that off. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the sounds of it, it might be 2022. <laughs> it comes out. Uh, so 2022, and the, they said the Xbox One version won't be scrapped. But I also have in my notes here that it's kind of hard to believe, as I think you're alluding to here as well, kind of hard to believe anything they say at this point. Well, it not only that, if you're going to be late 2021, spring of 2022, are you really going to put it on the Xbox One? No. Really? No. It makes no sense. At that point, you are pretty much phasing out all Xbox One production games, and you're selling X the, the new Xbox. Yeah. You, you, there ain't, you most certainly are not holding on to this, to the game that everybody wants, right? And, when I, and I'm, I'm saying that loosely. Yeah. But the game that is going to sell, sell your console, you're not going to hold that till the end of 2021 or 2022, knowing that the console comes out this year. And then you're going to go, oh, by the way, don't run out and buy our console because come 2022 or end of 2021, you'll still be able to use it on your Xbox One. That just sounds, that sounds so dumb. <laughs> that sounds so incredibly stupid. And uh, you don't have a fucking lineup of games to sell your Xbox One or your new Xbox to begin with. And you're going to tell people, don't worry. It's still going to come out on Xbox One. Hell no. They're going to no. say that shit is dead. Go buy the new Xbox because when the game comes out now, you're fucked. If you didn't get the new Xbox, run out and buy it. Don't buy a PS5. Don't do it. Bro, <laughs> this game, and I'm not even, I'm not even saying this for the laugh. This game needs to be canceled. Not just, not just reworked. Mm. Canceled. Mm. 343 Industries gets stripped of the Halo franchise. They can make the next Cooking Mama game for all I fucking care. Which, by the way, we still don't have any news about Cooking Mama, and I'm kind of sad about that. I want to know more about Cooking Mama, but we don't have that yet. 343 Industry, not a fucking clue what to do with Halo. The fact they're bringing in this guy confirms they're, yeah, they're fucked. that they don't know what the fuck they're doing with Halo. And this is like, this is, this is like an all-hands-on-deck 
Five alarm fire. We're just trying to keep people's jobs at this point and get a game mode that hits a seven and a ten. That's what we're banking on right now. Mm. Well, not only that, now they're now they're on a complete uphill climb because not only does the game look like dog shit, right? Yes. Everybody's fucking hating this game right now. Yes. So the, so the levels of expectations are already pretty fucking low, and people want to see this thing burn at this point. But now you're giving it some hope, and you're telling the fans, hey, I know it looked like dog shit, but we're bringing back your boy. All right? <laughs> so now people are going, oh, you know, maybe... Maybe we can get back to old Halo. And they're going to realize that the only person that's winning here is the dude that's coming back and getting paid millions of dollars to come in and fucking throw a Hail Mary down a fucking football field and realizing that the person that's trying to catch it is already out of bounds. So, okay. <laughs> essentially, they're not, even, they're not even toes in. They're like, yeah, they're, they're approaching the concession stands. Bro, they're in the parking lot, bro. <laughs> over and he's throwing it i mean he's looking good throwing it and it's a it's a straight throw they're gonna catch it but they're in the parking lot it's over <laughs> it's done it's done oh uh, gg yeah i'm, I'm telling i'm telling you man it would be like I, they've probably already spent a bunch of money on this game but at this point there's almost nothing that could be done here in my opinion that's going to redeem this fucking title in time uh and and if you're, if there was any hope of, of saving Halo's fucking name at this point, you cancel the whole thing, you can 343 Industries, you rebuild another team, which by the way, we're going to talk about the team that I think that should have been on this in the first place, and go from there. 